This video will be discussing about the topic principles of inheritance and variation and in this particular topic we will be discussing about uh, the Mendel and uh, his experimental uh, studies. So um, Gregor Mendel is being regarded as father of genetics. So why Mendel is regarded as a father of genetics? Because one common reason is uh, he was the first person to tell about uh, the heredity and uh, inheritance of the characters. So he mentioned that heredity is uh, the transmission or transferring of the characters which are present in the parents to their offsprings. So that is heredity and the characters which are being inherited from one generation to the next are regarded as hereditary characters. So he was the first person to tell about that heredity. So with that of the experimental proof, henceforth he was being called as father of uh, genetics. Now on what based, on what basis he conducted the experiments? So as he completed his uh, studies on that of the physics as well as the botany, so he thought of uh, uh, doing certain experiments on the plant which was being available in the monastery which means soon after his schooling he became a monk or a priest in a church so surrounding that church what he observed was there were presence of a lot of the pea plants around the church and uh, what uh, idea he got was as he had already done uh, completed his schooling or uh, the graduation in that of the botany. So he started thinking of when the model is there nearby uh, the church itself or monastery itself. So I can make use of these plants and I can do various of the experiment in this particular plant. So that was his idea. Now what made the Mendel to select only the pea plant? Okay. One thing is there that the model was being easily available. That was there. But other than that what are the other reasons which made him to select the pea plant for his experimental studies? The first reason for selecting the Pisum sativum by Mendel was the pure varieties of the pea plant were being available. So whenever we are conducting an experiment, generally we need to have uh, uh, the pure varieties so that it can give the more pure forms in the offsprings. So that made the first uh, reason to select and thereafter is uh, John Goss and another uh, scientist who in the year 1822 he was the person who had already uh, studied about uh, the pea plant and its uh, characters. So that again influenced uh, the Mendel. Next is occurrence of the contrasting traits in the pea plant and uh, available of the pea plant in his uh, monastery. So. In case of this particular pea plant, what Mendel had selected that around 7 characters he had selected or 14 traits were being selected for his experimenter, which means they, it, this particular plant had a contrasting traits. So that would be suitable for the Mendel for his experimentation and availability of the pea plant was there in the monastery as I already mentioned. Next is pea plants are easy to cultivate. Next is pea plants have short lifespan. So whenever a experimental model has a short lifespan, so whatever the experiments are to be done or it is being conducted, so very soon, that is a couple of months, we get the results. Okay. So whatever Mendel had done the experiments with the pea plant, he got the results up. Uh, after three months or within the three months itself. Okay, so that is very very important that pea plant has a short lifespan. So it means you need not uh, wait for uh, years together. For example, if I take a experimental model as a oak tree, then I need to wait up to some 70 years or 80 years. Probably I may not be living after 70 years or so. So whichever experimental model has to be selected that should have a small lifespan or a short lifespan. So that was one of the character, a peculiar feature of the pea plant. 
Next is a pea plant produces a large number of seeds which are being born by a single plant. See for example in case of a pea plant there is a pod and this pod consists of the in one pod there are at least around 8 to 10 seeds. So in a plant there may be many number of the pods and for example if I take if a pea plant is having 50 pods so 50 into 8 on an average if I take so that uh, forms around 400 seeds will be there. Right. So when a single crossing is being done, if the plant is able to produce 400 seeds, then when we sow into the soil, so 400 plants will be uh, seen. They are they will be grown. So that is large number of the seeds will be produced. Next is uh, pea plant is a small climber. Okay. Pea plant is a small climber, but the flowers which are there, so they are large in size. So that is. The garden pea or pisum sativum, what we are discussing about. Flowers are bisexual, which means it contains both andresium and gynesium. Male part as well as uh, the female part are being seen in a single flower. And generally this particular flower exhibits self-pollination as because both male and female reproductive organs are being present. Okay, uh, Then it exhibits uh, self-pollination. Anthers and stigma are being covered by the corolla. So, when the corolla is large enough and it is covering both anther as well as the stigma, it prevents the contamination. For example, if I take hibiscus flower, okay, where the flowers are being completely open, so the stigma is being exposed. So, when a insect comes and sits over the stigma, so this insect, okay, any insect pollinator. So it brings the pollen grains and those pollen grains will be deposited on the stigma. So unwanted pollen grains when they get deposited that possibly may result into contamination. But this Pisum sativa, okay, this flower has a large corolla which generally prevents contamination. Next is once after the crossing is being done, okay, whatever the hybrids are being produced, so these hybrids uh, are fertile. So they are fertile, which means they are having the ability to give birth to an another individual. So that is hybrids are fertile. Next is flowers can be cross pollinated manually because the flower it itself is undergoing self pollination. But when we want to conduct the experiments on the pea plant, so we can remove the stamens or we can remove the stigma thereby which we can make it as an unisexual flower. So whatever the type of experiments uh, we want to conduct or the Mendel has conducted, so that was being done manually. And plant does not, the Pisum sativum does not need much after care. So care is need not be there as we take care of any other plant. But here any plant or uh, generally uh, it requires a certain care in its uh, uh, the germination time but thereafter once it reaches a maturity thereafter there is no need much care can be taken so that is this particular plant need not uh, need much care okay so that is so these are the possible reasons okay why Mendel selected Pisum sativum for his uh, experimental studies now the next uh, part is uh, what are the steps which are being involved in the Mendelian experiments or in his experimentation? So first step is selection of the characters. Second is a hybridization. Third is a selfing or self hybridization. And the fourth one is the observation or the results. So Mendel once after selecting the characters in the pea plant uh, for around uh, seven years that is around 1856 to 1863. So this is a question which is being previously asked in the NEET. So 1856 to 1863, he did these experiments on the Pisum sativum. So let's get into the details of what are the characters who are being selected by Mendel for his experimental studies. So Mendel selected seven characters. The first character is height of the stem, or height of the plant, color of the flower, position of the flower or position of the pod. Next is shape of the pod, 
color of the pod shape of the seed and color of the seed so these are the seven characters which are being selected by mendel and uh, the genes of these seven characters okay are being located on four chromosomes okay in the pea plant see totally in case of a pea plant there are 14 chromosomes 1 4 14 chromosomes are there but whatever the characters were being selected by the mendel the genes which code for these characters were being located on four chromosomes namely they are 1 4 5 and 7 now which character is present on or which uh, uh, gene which controls a particular character so that is being present on which chromosome so that we will discuss so the genes which code for the color of the flower and the color of the seed so these are being present on the chromosome number 1 the gene which codes for stem height position of the flower or position of the pod and uh, shape of the pod so these uh, three genes are present on the chromosome number 4 and the next is uh, the gene which encodes for the color of the pod is being present on chromosome number 5 and lastly the gene which codes for the shape of the seed is being present on the chromosome number 7 so seven characters were selected and uh, each character as you know a single character has two traits okay so seven characters are 14 traits were being present so seven contrasting uh, characters were being selected so for example here whenever we take a character this character will have uh, one dominant trait and the other one is recessive trait for example if i take i mean if more what mendel has taken so height of the plant or stem height so tall is a dominant and the dwarf is a recessive and already you know that because in the earlier videos i have told you that dominant trait is expressed in the capitals and recessive is expressed in the uh, smaller letters so flower color so violet or red is dominant while white is a recessive position of the flower axial is dominant axial means uh, at the tip okay at the tip of the plant so that is the axial position whereas the terminal is uh, here in the middle it can be seen so that is the terminal position which is recessive next is shape of the pod full or inflated is dominant whereas uh, constricted is a uh, recessive full pod means for example if i draw here okay so this is the full so this will be right so this will be the full or inflated pod and constricted pod refers to okay so this is the inflated pod and this is the constricted pod next is color of the pod green color is dominant in the pod and yellow color is a recessive sheet shape that is round is dominant and wrinkled is recessive and in the color of the seed yellow is dominant and green is a recessive so generally the confusion occurs between the color of the pod and seed color color of the pod green is dominant yellow is recessive seed color yellow is dominant and uh, green is a recessive vice versa so these characters are to be remembered for your uh, cet or uh, neat okay so this is regarding the first uh, step in the experimentation that is selection of characters so once after the selection of the characters were being made by mendel next was hybridization so in the hybridization mendel had selected a single character and conducted mono hybrid cross or he had selected two characters so di hybrid cross similarly with that of the tri hybrid cross where he had selected three characters so hybridization was being done by the three steps one is called as the emasculation second one is called as the dusting and the third one is collection of seeds now what does emasculation emasculation means the process of removal of the anthers from a bisexual flowers using 
forceps. So that is what we call emasculation is being done, was being done by Mendel. So during that of the emasculation, <coughs> when the stamens were being removed, then that particular uh, flower in a bisexual flower, okay, when the stamens were being removed, then that behaved or it acted as a, a female uh, flower and whenever the pistils were being removed, that acted as a male flower. Okay, so 50% of the flowers which were being selected, he they made as uh, males and 50% of the flowers, he made them as female flowers, right? So that was being done under the first step. Next is uh, dusting. So once after the emasculation, what Mendel did was he collected the pollen grains of the garden pea plant and other garden pea plant and those pollen grains were being dusted over the stigma, okay? Uh, in the unisexual uh, uh, flower and uh, once the process was being completed so what he did was he covered that entire flower by the help of paper bags so that is what we call bagging technique or in some of the incidents what he had done was so for example let us take so there are two flowers okay so here it is a male flower which has only anthers and this is a female flower which has only the stigma so the pollen grains of this okay were being deposited over the stigma and once uh, this uh, stigma receives the pollen grains so this flowers were being covered with uh, the paper bags so that is bagging why bagging has to be done that is uh, to prevent uh, contamination so bagging was being done and later Mendel added a tag that is uh, what type of cross he had conducted with that particular plant so once after the pollination the flower has converted into a fruit and the seeds are being formed and once the pod and the seeds are being there so he started collecting those seeds and uh, he these seeds were being sown into the soil and he waited for the seed to get germinated and once after the germination had occurred the first progeny okay because crossing was being done in the parents so the first progeny has been formed and uh, after flowering so what he did he did the same experiment in that of the first generation what was being obtained and that process was being called as selfing. So selfing was being done or self hybridization or self pollination, sorry not self pollination, self hybridization was being done after F1 generation and later he got a F2 generation and again when the seeds were being obtained, so those seeds are also being sown into that of the soil and again the F2 generation had uh, the flowers and he was able to uh, notice that whatever the characters I mean what characters he wanted to whatever he had selected whether those are being exhibited or not okay so observations in the last so that is the result was being uh, seen in the F2 generation and what he observed was whenever he had uh, crossed a tall plant with the dwarf plant he got uh, three tall plants and one uh, dwarf plant. Whenever he had crossed a violet flower with that of a white flower, so three is to one. So when he selected individually a single single character and when he had made a cross, monohybrid cross, so what he observed was in the F2 generation that the, the ratio what he obtained was three is to one where three were the dominant characters and one was uh, the recessive character and based on this Mendel proposed a law that is called as a law of dominance and whatever the results were there so these results were being uh, published in the proceedings of the Natural History Society uh, of Brunn under the topic that is called as experiments on plant hybridization in the year 1866. So although the experiments were being conducted by the Mendel various of the experiments were being conducted but uh, the name and fame was not being given to that of the Mendel when he was alive. And later in the year, somewhere around 1884, when uh, Mendel died, later various of the scientists started working on Mendelian experiments and they rediscovered the Mendelian principle. And uh, those uh, geneticists are the scientists who rediscovered the principles of the Mendel. So they gave the name as a father of uh, genetics. So this is all the video about uh, the Mendel, 
what is the reason for the mental to select the pisum sativum thereafter how the experiments were being conducted by the mental thank you